Welcome to a new vlog. In this video I'm going to show you what I think is the best affordable USB meter you can get right now in terms of functionality and build quality. The functionality built into this USB meter goes beyond your imagination and it's hard to even remember all of the different functions this meter will support and the PC app they offer has to be one of the best apps I've seen from a Chinese company. It doesn't mean it's perfect, might still have a few bugs, but definitely the best uh, choice in terms of USB meter that you can make right now. This USB meter is uh, branded AVHZY, the model number is CT3 and full disclosure here they offered me this unit for free for the purpose of this review but they don't pay me and I have full control over this review. The meter comes in this uh, hard shell case so it's well protected during shipping and to my surprise I got this in just under two weeks while the usual transit times for my packages are in the three to four weeks. Inside the box you get this uh, English uh, quick start guide. Uh, there was also a uh, screen protector film which I already installed. Uh, it went in there perfectly protecting the screen and I really appreciate having that included because it is the perfect size for this display. This is your typical USB meter sandwich construction with uh, different layers. Uh, this one seems to be using a single PCB in the middle with a couple of metal sheets on the outer layers which makes this feel premium and uh, more rugged than simple plastic. We have the uh, typical USB type A connection for input and uh, output. We also have USB type C uh, input and output here and also micro USB for the uh, PC connection. The LCD is 128 by 160 pixels at just 1.77 inch which is not a lot you can definitely see those pixels but for a small USB meter I can't complain it's still very readable. From the silk screen markings on the back we noticed the controls there's this switch to enable or disable the power delivery control and there is this uh, multi-way switch for left to right and push to navigate through the menu. In terms of specs this guy pretty much does it all but before I go into that let me introduce the sponsor of this video PCBWay.com a professional PCB manufacturer with excellent quality and fast turnaround times but you can get more than PCBs manufactured but with PCBWay they also do PCB assembly, injection molding, 3D printing, machining various parts so you can have an entire prototype built using their services. Check out their website linked below. So this little USB meter can do detection as well as uh, triggering for uh, quick charge versions 2, 3 and 4, power delivery with PPS support that is programmable power supply as well as the secondary protocols like Huawei, SCP, Samsung, AFC and a few more which I will add on screen. It can measure voltages up to 26 volts and the current up to 6 amps with 4.5 digits of uh, reading, 0.1% uh, maximum claimed error, so lots of resolution here with good accuracy. It can measure cable resistance, it can read digital EMARC chips and Apple charger serial numbers, it has this beautiful high refresh rate oscilloscope mode to show voltage and current and it has an internal data logger with up to 12 megabytes of onboard storage. This can be mounted as a USB storage to a computer so it's very convenient to access the recorded data and this is not everything it can do. There are two more interesting features. The first one is this very nicely made and comprehensive PC app. We'll definitely take a look at that later but so far I have a feeling that this is by far the best PC app from any Chinese supplied test instrument I have seen so far. And the second interesting feature is that it supports Lua scripts which can turn this into a fully automated test setup. There is also a companion optional external electronic load module which they claim is capable of up to 100 watts max but I think it's only 65 watts continuously. I don't have that so I can't test any uh, functionality related to that but from other reviews I've seen online it seems to be built very well and does the job as advertised. Unlike other meters which either use a fixed display orientation or a menu option to flip the orientation this one smartly uses an accelerometer to automatically flip the display orientation and if you've been testing USB devices with power meters like uh, this one you've no doubt seen the utility of having such an automatic display orientation feature. 
Because this is a very capable trigger device for all of the protocols I just mentioned, you need to be extra careful of the devices you connect to the meter uh, on the output of the meter while triggering those protocols. The user manual and the meter itself gives a warning on this, but imagine you have a device connected on the output which only supports 5 volts and you use the menu system to trigger a charging protocol for 12 volts or even 20 volts. The magic smoke will be released no doubt so make sure the devices you connect on the output support the protocols or voltages you plan to trigger and i don't think it's worth going through the different protocols uh, in this video because the meter works as expected for triggering those i mean if you've used any kind of usb meter before uh, this does everything your old usb meter used to do but just adds more functionality and probably does it better the user manual is a great resource in that regard so I highly recommend you check it out to get a full understanding of what this meter is capable of and how to operate it. I will link this in a PDF version in the description of the video. But generally you will use the navigation key left to right to switch through the different screens and you push or uh, double push to select and then adjust values once again with the left and right key. My only complaint would be that because of the high number of features and uh, the limited uh, input method on this USB meter, sometimes it can be hard to uh, remember how to navigate the GUI, so it's, it's not very intuitive. There's just so much functionality and so many options in the menu, it's hard to remember uh, which shortcut uh, does what, but I would assume this gets better as you use the device more and more. Nonetheless, I would not throw away the short uh, quick start guide. I will probably keep this with the USB meter because I think I'm going to be uh, forgetting how the user interface works if I'm not using this every day. Also, it's fair to mention that although this USB meter might work with uh, USB 3.1 Gen 1 and 2 pass-through, that is not guaranteed by spec because of the high-speed signaling which is going on on USB 3.1, the signal integrity does suffer a little go going through the uh, meter PC. CB, so not all devices will be compatible but by using high quality short USB cables you might just have a working setup on USB 3.1. If you're in the business of testing those high speed USB 3.1 devices then you probably need to switch to the next level and get the professional stuff that will cost you thousands of dollars. I'm going to show one of the functions I like the most it's the oscilloscope view they built in. I'm not sure my camera is capturing this in its full glory but the uh, refresh rate on, on this meter is crazy. This looks like a really good oscilloscope screen with a very high refresh rate. And uh, it's definitely good for looking at voltage ripple uh, because you get both a DC graph option and an AC coupling option. I will also quickly show you how the PC app looks like. This is Windows only as it's built on the .NET framework. Uh, there is currently no option for Mac or Linux users and a nice feature of the software is that you can link multiple devices into the app at the same time. So when you couple that with the Lua scripting capability, you can see how this can turn into a automated test setup with like a bank of multiple of these uh, USB meters. Another great feature of the software is the PD protocol analyzer where you can zoom in and view individual packets that are being sent uh, between the devices and I will try to include some sample videos of that on screen. That is a really useful feature for me when developing USB Type-C products. Although I have not used this extensively to encounter any bugs, uh, it seems there might be some bugs in the PC app as some users are reporting on the forums. Even so, uh, this is still the best USB analyzer for the money and uh, probably the best app I have seen lately. In terms of verifying the voltage and current measurement accuracy, I looked at a few different uh, voltage levels and checked against a high precision bench multimeter. I have found the voltage reading on the meter to be very precise and within the specified accuracy. And the same can be said about the current measurement, but take that high resolution uh, with a grain of salt as the uh, less significant digit tends to jump around quite a bit. And this wouldn't be a true Volo review video without a teardown. So here it is, uh, four screws on the back, four screws on the front to be removed. And we get a chance to look at the electronics inside. Let me just position this better for the camera and we'll discuss the individual elements we have on this board. 
I've identified some of the parts in here, but I'm gonna start with uh, some of the stuff that I can't easily identify, but the manufacturer claims they've used. So they claim the three-way switch is from Alps, the USB connectors from Oppo, as well as some uh, other uh, known brands for the shunt resistor or some inductors which are on the board. Now, what we can identify is the main microcontroller, which is an STM32F411. That is an ARM Cortex-M4 series microcontroller that can run up to 100 megahertz. This is no doubt responsible for the processing power of that smooth high refresh rate for the display and maintaining that PC USB connection. Not sure this is a genuine ST micro part though. Uh, due to the chip shortage, they could be forced to use a clone. I don't see any ST micro logo on here. We have a small flat flex expansion connector. I wonder what that could be used for. We have a backup battery for the RTC clock function. Uh, 12 megabytes of flash memory from Winbond. Uh, this is the INA228 from Texas Instruments and this is in charge of measuring both voltage and current as well as general energy monitoring with the help of the shunt resistor. This is a high quality, high resolution part and it's nice to see this in here. This is our USB Type-C power delivery negotiation chip. I think it's an FUSB 3302 from OnSemi because the pinout matched the QFN14 package. And other than that, we just have support circuitry on here, which is not worth mentioning. But one thing is clear, they did use high quality parts in here, with the exception of the microcontroller, which could be a clone, but I don't expect that to have any impact on the final user. You might find this uh, USB meter under a different brand with similar if not identical specs. I'm not sure which is the original OEM, it could be Shizuku, we've seen that mentioned on the PCB during the teardown. Uh, I also see it mentioned in the PC app, but this uh, AVHZY model is definitely a good one to get. I'm pretty happy with the quality we got here and just to list a few of the features that I like most the uh, high resolution measurement for voltage and current, the oscilloscope view with its high refresh rate, the built-in data logging, the PC app with Lua scripting and PD analyzer, as well as generally being capable of triggering almost any protocol you can think of. And that's what makes uh, this the best USB meter that you can get right now. It offers the best functionality and as you've seen from the teardown, it's built with high quality parts. The seller where I got it from seems to be very reliable, so I highly recommend you check out his store, which is uh, linked in the description below the video. That was all for today. If you found this video useful, please consider hitting the like button or supporting the channel via Patreon. You can do that with as little as $1 per month, and you can also get early access to the videos that I'm doing. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.